Hey everyone and welcome back to our little UK fish room. In today's video I am going to talk about my current favourite fish in our fish room. The red whiptail catfish, also known as the red lizard catfish. Species Spotlight The red whiptail catfish gracefully glides through the waters bringing an air of tranquility and elegance to any aquarium. With their delicate appearance and vibrant red coloration, these rare and enchanting fish add a touch of allure to their surroundings. Despite their slender twig-like physique, their unique personality shines through in their peaceful nature. Creating a harmonious community for the red whiptail catfish involves providing ample space and companionship. Keeping them in groups of six or more is recommended. A mature tank with an abundance of shady hiding spots among carefully arranged plants, driftwood, slate caves and PVC pipes can create an ideal haven for these captivating creatures. Efficient filtration ensures optimal water quality while gentle water movement complements the serene disposition. When choosing tank mates, it is important to consider compatibility in size and temperament. Smaller species such as pencilfish, tetras, corridorus or dwarf cichlids like epistogrammas or microgeophagus can coexist harmoniously with the red whiptail catfish. However, care should be taken to avoid boisterous tank mates during feeding times as these passive catfish prefer a more tranquil dining experience. Whether housed in a well-planted tank or a biotope-inspired arrangement, it is advisable to provide subdued lighting to ensure optimal comfort and well-being. The red whiptail catfish has successfully bred in home aquariums, demonstrating its adaptability to captive conditions. Well-conditioned individuals are known to readily engage in breeding activities, especially following a cool partial water changes. During the spawning process, the male assumes an active role, meticulously selecting and cleaning a suitable cave as the breeding site. If the female shows receptiveness, she will deposit approximately 50 eggs within the cave, which are instantly fertilised by the vigilant male. Subsequently, the female seizes her involvement in brood care, leaving the male to diligently guard and tend to the eggs. The eggs themselves are an unusual greenish gold hue and are expected to hatch within six to eight days. Shortly after that, around two to three days post hatching, the fry will become free swimming, embarking on their independent journey. Providing suitable nourishment for the developing fry is crucial and options such as baby brine shrimp, crushed tablet foods and soft slices of vegetables can be offered to sustain their growth and vitality. Maintaining optimal water quality throughout this delicate stage is imperative as the fry exhibit heightened sensitivity to any deterioration in their aquatic environment. Therefore, vigilance in water maintenance is key to ensuring their successful development. Distinguishing between male and female red whiptail catfish is relatively straightforward. However, mature males exhibit a distinctive feature in the form of short odontodes, which are present on both the head and pectoral fins. This characteristic serves as a reliable visual cue for discerning the gender of these catfish. Red whiptail catfish possess an eclectic palate, making them omnivorous creatures in the aquarium. To ensure their optimal health and vitality, offering them a diverse and enticing menu is recommended. Sinking catfish pellets and algae wafers form a solid foundation for their diet, providing essential nutrients. Additionally, incorporating vegetable matter such as kale and slices of cucumber or courgette regularly will further enhance their well-being. This comprehensive approach to their dietary needs ensures these captivating catfish thrive in your care. The origins of the red whiptail catfish continue to spark intrigue and speculation among enthusiasts. While their exact lineage remains a subject of debate, several theories have emerged to shed light on their enigmatic nature. One theory proposes that these catfish could hail from Brazil, Venezuela and Colombia, representing a potential natural occurrence. However, concrete evidence validating their wild core origins remains elusive, leaving room for further investigation. Another hypothesis suggests that red whiptail catfish may have been selectively bred from the common whiptail catfish, a commonly bred species. 
However, this notion is met with scepticism as no documented reports of mutant red fry have surfaced in the breeding records of the common whiptail catfish. A third intriguing possibility alludes to hybridisation between the true red whiptail and the common whiptail. This hypothesis suggests that the reproductive efficiency of lanceolata females could have played a role in facilitating the rapid production of commercially viable quantities of the red variant. Notably, all red whiptail catfish available in the trade are exclusively tank bred regardless of their natural or man-made origins. As the mystery surrounding the origins of red whiptail catfish persists, further research and exploration promise to unravel the secrets behind this captivating species. Thanks for watching.